up everybody Jeff here for Bonco and today I want to teach you the method I used to change a lot of images for my Instagram Bon Neon which I just love the neon stuff so much and uh, I really want to share this with you because it's just really cool um, it's really easy and then there's another way that's just a little bit more in depth I'm going to show you both so uh, here's a couple examples um, here's one with me in a well-lit room well, show you on that. Here's another one of a street. What looks really nice. Here's another one of a street before and after. And then here's another one before and after. Uh, so we're going to show you kind of how to do this for yourself and whatever issue you can work on it yourself. So uh, let's start by closing this up. So the first thing is just kind of the general idea. And I would have to say it comes down to the green channel. So when you create a curves here, just go straight to the green channel and drop that down. Boom. That's pretty much, that's like good for Tumblr, you know? Um, but uh, I don't think it's good enough. So let's reset that. Uh, this will go into the second method, which will be you go in and you set the levels. So the first thing you want to do is kind of make it look like it's dark or nighttime in the photo. Usually it starts with a gamma, just kind of crushing that down. I'm looking at the background because in this particular image, there's a lot of white all around. So um, I'm just kind of crushing that down here. And then I kind of clip the hot, hot spots um, and maybe even clip those a little because at night there's that really, really extreme contrast. So we have a pretty good looking contrast as if it was nighttime and we can tweak it later. Well, let's take this curves level above that. And um, this is kind of the key. We go back into the green channel and then we grab that and we kind of clip that all the way. And that's, I feel like a much better one than the other method, but some pictures call for the other method of dropping the highs. But we're not done here. We're going to go into the red channel. I'm just going to kind of clip that right there or pin it. And then I bring it out of the shadows. So right now we've kind of got a similar result as to dropping the greens, but we had a little bit more contrast with the red. And then you can go into the blue channel depending and kind of drop that for a little bit more purple. Um, now drop the saturation just a little bit. Uh, so it's just a little more realistic and uh, this is key uh, so put that above it um, before the curves I like to put a little photo filter of 80 right there cooling filter and I feel like that really really gives it that feel of a nighttime and uh, at this point this is pretty sloppy but it's pretty much it like that's all you have to do you can kind of start dialing in these values and you know you can start working the curves and you know see what you like uh, now it's the same story let's say it was this here um, let's do the levels first because again we want to we want to see how this works it's already kind of night so we don't have to do too much but we, we want to use that because we will later on need to tweak the values so uh, let's put in that saturation let's pull out some of that let's put in the cooling filter that's nice and now let's do that curves neon level um, start with a green because I always just kind of clip that to just find out the starting point and then we have the red I just kind of pin that and then clip that out of the shadows we're already getting good now the blue to taste I just kind of pull it out so now we can go back to that levels here and kind of tweak that to see per picture. Obviously it's a contrast thing. You, you should know how to do this at this point, but that's pretty much it. You have a levels layer, you have the saturation, you have a cooling filter, and then my neon curves, which is the kick in the green, the red, uh, gamma and shadows, and then the blue and just the gamma. Uh, that should do it for you. Uh, here's another example, uh, just for the hell of it, we'll just do another one. Uh, let's turn on the levels, turn on the cooling filter, there's that curves, or here's the, here's the right curves with the, all that is dialed in, um, and 
it pretty much works. It works really good on nighttime images, but you can do it on daytime. Let me pull one up. Okay, so now we have a daytime image. It's definitely like sunset, but we can still do it by going in. Again, levels. Let's do a cooling filter. Let's do the saturation. And then let's put on the curves. Green, kick that down. Now the levels I can already tell, I, I do not like how hot they are, so I'm gonna clip those whites. So kind of get that in there. Let's go back to those curves. The red, pin it, and then crush those, that red out of the shadows. And uh, it has a certain look to it. I mean, it's definitely like that weird uh, background here, uh, which is bright white. So, so yeah, that's it. Hope that helped. And until next time, peace.